Stop it, no it's a profit. Burden heavy, broken levy, meant to you now and forever. Politics is what she's speaking. Good mental health needed. Lift each other, don't trip. If your brother slip, extend grip. Make cash flip, pay each other. That's a good look, need each other. Deep inside, it's survival. Jump in together, no rifle. All the content's original. If you hear it, listen and share it all. Then you should have played with all your heart. Clara sticks it to him like a dart. And had the aim of archery to mark. Melanin made them all empty. Experimenting, cause they saw me. Blown by NASCAR race. Nah, better space boost pace. Yeah. Nah, better space boost pace, boy. Just winning. Media life spinning. Be a life spinning, be a life spinning, just winning, media life spinning, be a life spinning, be a life spinning. Today's live stream is being brought to you by Clarity Media. Support the San Francisco Dreamkeeper Initiative, recognizing and investing in the diverse Black and African American communities of San Francisco with a wide range of programs to support youth, families, seniors, and men. Today's live stream is being brought to you by Clarity Media. Support the San Francisco Dreamkeeper Initiative, recognizing and investing in the diverse Black and African American communities of San Francisco with a wide range of programs to support youth, families, seniors, and members of the Black LGBTQ plus communities. Dreamkeeper San Francisco is fostering hope for generations of Black people to feel free to dream boldly. Visit Dreamkeeper S org today. Tune in weekdays to the Bay Area Mental Health Hour on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook. You'll find us covering issues surrounding your everyday coping skills and your mental health and wellness. And remember, your mental health matters as much as your physical health. Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm the founder of Taylor J Collection. We are a women's contemporary clothing brand located right here in Oakland, California. The journey of a woman comes with many changes, and that's why we are very intentional about all of our designs and collections. We make sure to provide elevated comfort, sustainability, versatility, and of course, style. If you're in the Bay Area, come by, say hi, and take some comfy pieces home to add to your closet. Shop with us online at taylorjcollection.com.
All right. Good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear me out there. It's Alicia Mayo of Clarity Media, the founder here at Clarity Media, welcoming all of you to tonight's uh, quick little virtual listening session. It's not going to be too long tonight because last night I was on and not very many people showed up. It looks like I have two whole viewers <laughs> tuned in right now. So actually, no, there's three now. There's three. Okay, so that's more than last night. So thank you to all three of you who are tuned in right now, whether you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, or on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your presence here tonight. Tonight is all about uh, listening to you. If you are from San Francisco and you're Black, if you uh, used to live in San Francisco, but maybe you, you know you couldn't afford to stay like me, and you're wondering about reparations and how the payout will apply to you and how you can become eligible if in fact you are eligible um, what the criteria is what the recommendations are if you have any questions about what's happening with san francisco um, black san francisco and the reparations that are owed to black san franciscans who are descendants of chattel slavery, then this is the right place. If you still have more questions after tonight, you can always visit that website that's scrolling at the bottom of the screen there. It's www.sfreparations.org. Now, San Francisco will be the first city to receive the largest, the largest settlement for reparations, okay? We will receive that settlement for reparations. I don't know if it'll be 5 million 15 million or 50 million per person. We have yet to um, get to that point. Uh, the next step in the process is to meet with the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. That's coming up on September 19th. And I have the flyer here. Let's see. I, I want to share this flyer with you so that you can attend the rally that's coming up again on September 19th, the rally begins on the steps of San Francisco City Hall at 12 noon, just to kind of get your juices flowing, to get you inspired, to uh, give you some information, current information about the whole movement for uh, reparations for Black San Francisco. They'll start the rally again at 12 noon on the steps of San Francisco City Hall. And then at 3 p.m., uh, everyone will move into room 250, where the Board of Supervisors hearing will begin at 3 p.m. If you'd like to join in person, just show up, be there, and be there in numbers. Tell a friend, bring a family member. Uh, just make sure that you are present and that you show the Board of Supervisors and the others who are going to determine whether or not, you know, San Francisco receives legislation uh, for Black San Franciscans and reparations, okay? Just be there in person. If you can't be there in person, then you can always tune in to the Board of Supervisors hearing at uh, by going to sfgovtv. That's sfgovtv.org. If you go to that website, you can tune in online. You can listen to the supervisors speak with the Human Rights Commission along with the African-American Reparations Advisory Committee and the members of the committee and uh, other folks who are involved in this movement, including the public, the general public at large. They've been a vital, uh, a vital part of this movement and a huge support to all of the committee members who spent a lot of time, long hours and days over at least a year now uh, publishing the report that they published, okay? And that report, it's a two, two report, report, well, it was a lot of research. And from all of the research, they produced over 300 pages of research. That includes prior research that's been done already by other politicians and other members of the public who uh, have been fighting for reparations for years now. So the fight continues here in 2023, since God knows, uh, since at least 1967, 68, with the civil rights movement, 
until now, you know, across the city, across the state of California, across the nation, for that matter, Black people have been fighting for equal rights with education, health care, economic uh, resources, uh, employment opportunities, and more. Housing discrimination has been a long, hard fight, and we continue this fight today, and I am honored to be a part of all of what's happening at my age. I mean, I just turned 58 um, a couple weeks ago, and there's nothing better that I can be doing right now in my life other than, you know, raising my grandson and my, um, my, my adult children <laughs> who don't really need me. <laughs> anyway, this is Alicia Mayo, the founder and CEO of Clarity Media. Clarity Media is a um, Black owned nonprofit media that was created out of necessity, out of the sheer discrimination that I experienced myself in San Francisco, working in San Francisco media and working for large corporations like KCBS and iHeart Media and Next Star Nation, Westwood One, Metro Traffic Control, on and on and on. I've worked for all of the major broadcast outlets, and not all of them were out, outright, you know, discriminating against me. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is that as a news anchor and as an executive producer, I never made more than $30 an hour. Go figure. How can anyone in San Francisco live on $30 an hour? Why was I paid so little? Instead of arguing with them about it, I left and I looked for a better opportunity at every stop. I mean, I was excited to be in the newsroom at Crown for television. You know, I had a professor who, tell, who told me not to even bother and that it was a difficult place to work. And he, he was right. He was right, but I had to find out for myself. When I got there, I discovered just how awful it was to be in that newsroom under that old management. I can't say that that is the case today because I'm not there and there's a new news director. The former news director is no longer there. He was fired, okay? Eventually, you know, every, well, I won't say that, but what goes around comes around. I'll just put it like that. Okay, so you don't see my face on screen because I wanted to share this important flyer with you um, to remind you to let your voices be heard at the Board of Supervisors hearing on final reparations recommendations. That's happening September 19th. The rally begins at 12 noon on the City uh, Hall's front steps, on the steps right there in the front of City Hall. Um, be there at 12 noon with your friends and family to get it started to make your voices heard. And then at 3 p.m., the Board of Supervisors will meet in a hearing with the uh, African-American Reparations Advisory Committee members and the Human Rights Commission to hear the final reparations recommendation, okay? Or recommendations. There's more than one recommendation. Absolutely. And then uh, there are also listening sessions taking place across the city. There was one yesterday and one today. Yesterday, they were in the Bayview Hunters Point. That's when I say they, that's the ARAC committee, the African American Reparations Advisory Committee members. And the public were meeting in the Bayview yesterday and today they were meeting in the Western edition. Um, and it looks like, let me look here at my screen, September 5th, that's a Tuesday, they'll be in Petrero Hill at 1101 or 1101 Connecticut, beginning at, oh gosh, it's there on the screen, 5.30 p.m. Okay, 5.30 p.m. They'll be in Petrero Hill, but you'll see, if you look there, you see these other dates, September 6th, 7th, 8th, and September 17th. That's just two days before the big rally on the 19th. So scan the QR code, get registered to attend one of the community engagement listening sessions and make your voices heard. Ask any questions you might have about 
reparations for Black San Franciscans. If you have any comments or suggestions for recommendations, you know, the work continues. It is not over yet. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot to gain from this. And so that's why it's important for us to contribute and to get involved and to continue to be a part of what's happening, even though the reports have been published and submitted to the Board of Supervisors and to the Mayor of San Francisco. They all have those two reports that were uh, researched and published by the ARAC committee, but it doesn't mean that it's over yet, okay? You've got to get involved. This is critical. It is crucial. What happens in San Francisco will affect the remainder of the state of California, and all the Black folks in it, as well as on the federal level. What happens in San Francisco will affect Black folks nationally because, you know, there are more cities that will ask for recovery and repair and for what they are owed for their work. I mean, can you imagine Mississippi, the state of Mississippi, and everything that's still being done? I mean, in San Francisco, but in places like Mississippi where you can't even imagine the poverty and the hopelessness that still exists today in 2023 from the time that my grandparents were in Jackson, Mississippi and left Jackson, Mississippi. Here's a picture of my grandparents here. Uh, my grandpa, sadly, James McGee, and my grandmother, Rosie Marie McGee. They were young. I mean, look how young my grandmother was in this picture. When they left Jackson, Mississippi, and headed, headed out to California, to the West. Yeah, they're a young couple. My grandmother was much younger than my grandpa, but nevertheless, he loved her until his last breath. He was 93 years old when he passed away a couple of years ago. My grandmother is still living. But they came to California, they came to San Francisco, and they worked extremely hard. They worked all day and all night, every day, every year for all of us, for their family. And here's another picture of my family. Okay, and there they are today. My grandmother, she's sitting there in the front on the left side, my grandpa there in the front, and then my brother Kelly, who was gone now. He passed away April Fool's Day 2008. That's him in the middle there. And then my aunt Amanda to the far left, my aunt Barbara, my mom in the middle right behind my brother, and me in the yellow blouse there. And then my aunt Valerie to the right there in the black mink. We're a, a tight family, a small family, relatively small for um, for, for most families, for most average size families, our family is pretty small. My uncle is missing from that picture there. Uncle Sat, uh, he's no longer with us. Um, God rest his soul and uh, rest in peace, Kelly, my younger brother. Um, and then my youngest brother, Michael, who wasn't born yet, he's not there in the picture. And we've had, you know, more grandchildren and nieces and nephews um, who were born after me, <laughs> but I was the first grandchild, I will say, uh, of my grandparents, and I'm proud to say that. But that put me in a place where I was exposed to a lot of what was going on with the civil rights movement, as well as what was happening in San Francisco when my mom was coming up in high school. You know, she, my mom had me when she was 15 years old, so she was a, a girl. You know, she was just a little girl. And I was so I was raised by my grandparents and I was um, exposed to a lot, a lot. You know, uh, the housing discrimination was a was the biggest thing that affected my small family. And when I say my small family, I'm talking about my mom, myself, and my two younger brothers. And you know, my father wasn't present. That's another story. And I shared some of my family background in last night's live stream to help you understand my family's experience with discrimination and unjust uh, experiences in San Francisco from as early as the late 50s 
you know, with my uncle Nick, who helped build the San Francisco Bay Bridge. And I found some of the pictures, okay? So here are some of those pictures. Now, this is a picture of my uncle Nick there. He's sitting in the middle and that is him sitting on the Bay Bridge on, on top of some metal rebar so that they could lay concrete there, okay? And as he was working on the Bay Bridge uh, all those years, but I don't know what year that was. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look that up and do the research. But this picture was given to me by my grandmother. And she explained that's him there. And this is another one. Oh, it's hard to see. So, but you can see part of one of the struck pillars there in the background there. That's a hard picture to see. I'm going to have to um, increase that one so you can see that one a little bit better. But nevertheless, um, I was told that my uncle Nick, uh, during that time of working on the Bay Bridge, uh, he had a pretty serious fall, broke both of his legs, and um, then uh, that led me to, you know, ask questions about compensation and whether or not he was ever, um, you know, able to receive workers' compensation for that injury because I know as an older man, he had a a walk that was real obvious that something went wrong with his legs and both his legs were really bowl shaped as a result of that, of that horrible injury there on the Bay Bridge. So that's just a little bit of my, a little bit more background about my family and the history of my family. So I'd like to hear from those of you who are tuned in, if you have any comments that you'd like to share or you'd like to uh, join me live. I mean, say so. Uh, I'd be happy to have somebody on with me live. I mean, uh, God knows it's no fun to be here talking about reparations all by myself. I know my family and I aren't the only ones who experienced, uh, you know, some systemic racism. Uh, thank you, Joe Boutte. Okay. Thank you so much for that comment about my family. Thank you so much. As I was saying, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Well, my family's not the only family, Black family in San Francisco, who uh, can tell some stories of discrimination. Um, I Let's see if I can pull up this video. I did upload a video uh, from last night's uh, listening session in the Bayview Hunters Point. And there, uh, one of the committee members, Letitia Irving, was present. And she
Today's live stream is being brought to you by Clarity Media. Support the San Francisco Dreamkeeper Initiative, recognizing and investing in the diverse Black and African American communities of San Francisco with a wide range of programs to support youth, families, seniors, and members of the Black LGBTQ plus communities. Dreamkeeper San Francisco is fostering hope for generations of Black people to feel free to dream boldly. Visit Dreamkeeper S org today if you'd like to be a guest or suggest show ideas drop us an email or a direct message we'd love to hear from you clarity media human stories grassroots solutions subscribe like follow and share the bay area mental health hour clarity conversations and we the people building trust for the first time out of chaos comes clarity clarity media with a few drip lit like a spot just when violence never tiring spin on the list you never miss we acknowledge our mother earth that gives us life nourishes us and is our greatest partner we act with reverence respect and reciprocity in all that we do we acknowledge the first peoples who have lived and thrived on these lands for thousands of years and who have kept this sacred relationship alive for all of humanity here in the Bay Area and in California, we acknowledge the Ohlone Indians and the African American people who have been living on these lands since time immemorial. We acknowledge all of our ancestors that have walked and stewarded these lands before us and those that continue to walk with us on this journey to a more harmonious world. We acknowledge our responsibility to think of those yet to come and to leave them a world that is capable of providing abundant life. With love in our hearts, we say merci, thank you. We acknowledge the indigenous Indians and Africans who were forcefully removed from their native lands and dispersed across the new world. This involuntary relocation and forced migration heavily contributed to the movement of African Indian descended people across the African diaspora and the Americas. And here we are today to analyze and discuss reparations and how to make amends to right the wrongs of social injustice and war against these people. There is a long history of harm. Therefore, reparations can take many forms depending on who is demanding the repair. Support the San Francisco African American Reparations Advisory Committee as they tackle important issues. They need your involvement to develop policy recommendations. Make your voice heard. Support the Economic Empowerment Subcommittee meeting by attending the virtual...
Today's live stream is being brought to you by Clarity Media. Support the San Francisco Dreamkeeper Initiative, recognizing and investing in the diverse Black and African American communities of San Francisco with a wide range of programs to support youth, families, seniors, and members of the Black LGBTQ plus communities. Dreamkeeper San Francisco is fostering hope for generations of Black people to feel free to dream boldly. Visit Dreamkeeper SF dot org today. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for your patience. Oh, my goodness, what a night. 
What a night this has been. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, all this technical stuff. I'm really tired. I'm doing this because I was um, prompted by the ARAC committee to make sure that we're sharing the word, that we're talking about the sessions that are coming up, the listening sessions. And I decided to do this at the last minute, okay? So I, I will admit, I was not prepared for tonight's broadcast. Typically, I am much, much more prepared. You can go back to my page. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel. You can go to my LinkedIn profile. You can go to my Twitter page. And you can see the work that I do typically is very professional, very planned and organized and all of that. But tonight was just one of those nights where I really wanted to test my new microphone, which I did. It was fine, but the battery ran out. Well, I didn't charge this part. I charged the transmitter, but I didn't charge the actual mic technical stuff that you're really not interested in. And then again, maybe you are, because if you tuned in for tonight's conversation about reparations, that's a pretty technical subject. And so I think you can handle it, I'm sure. <laughs> so everybody, it's Alicia Mayo uh, of Clarity Media, thanking you for tuning in and thanking you for being so patient while I uh, work out the kinks and everything. Uh, I want to just say thank you again for watching this Black woman-owned uh, channel and platform. Yeah, out of chaos comes clarity. Always, always, always. You learn something new every single day, all right? But uh, Clarity Media was created to really support community voices and uh, to promote uh, stories and, and conversations uh, that are not being held in mainstream media, okay? And so that's why I created Clarity Media. I have a wonderful team of field producers and videographers who help me gather the stories that all of you are telling. And if you would love for us to tell your story, and you have a very interesting story, you think, um, it doesn't have to be very interesting. It just has to be an interesting story, and a story about uh, someone or a family or a situation that we wouldn't normally see, okay? And so that's why I created Clarity Media, so that our stories can be told. Um, and uh, it's, it's time that our stories are not overlooked or ignored any, any longer, okay? So thank goodness for social media. But in this process, of uh, creating this kind of content, you know, there'll be hiccups. But as you can see, my beautiful graphics and everything, I'm working on things, you know, and things take a little time. And as I get older and have more responsibility in this position as CEO and founder, it does require a whole lot of time and energy. And so it's 9.46 here in Jamaica. I'm still on my birthday vacation, <laughs> broadcasting live from Jamaica. <laughs> yes, on my vacation, I'm still working, but that just goes to show how dedicated I am, okay? So I want to share one more thing with you before I wrap it up tonight, and that is the listening sessions. And I, wait a minute, I did, um, let me go back and see if I can pull up the video that I promised, Okay from the uh, listening session that occurred last night in the Baby Hunters Point. Uh, I'm going to pull that up. I loaded it up to my YouTube channel, where if you look for Clarity Media, you'll find, uh, you'll find it there. So let me see. C-L-A-R-I dash T Media. Okay, so if you go to YouTube and you type up Clarity Media, that's what you will find. And here is the video. Let me see if I can get the video up without any problems here. Because I was trying to do that when you guys saw my mouth moving like that. I couldn't quite get it up yet, um, but I think I have it now. And this is a clip from last night's 
listening session. Um, the listening sessions are taking place across San Francisco to give you, the community, an opportunity to engage about reparations, okay? We'll give you an opportunity to ask any questions you have, to um, uh, include your opinions and ideas or make any comments and direct them directly to the African-American Reparations Advisory Committee members. They will be in attendance. You will have the chance to ask them any questions you have about how they did the research and what, what the recommendations are, why they are recommending 5 million and not 10 million or 2 million. Um, yeah, at these community engagement sessions, it's really important for you to just be there and represent yourselves, represent your families, okay? So the flyer is there on the screen. You can register by scanning over the QR code and or visiting bit.ly forward slash AARAC dash engagement. Okay, that information is there. If you've missed it, if you can't write it down fast enough, don't worry. Don't worry. If you're on Facebook with me, you can just um, go to this recording after I'm done and tap on play and play it again. Fast forward it to this point where you need the information or look for Clarity Media. And you see the spelling of Clarity Media, it's C-L-A-R-I-T, capital T, media. You can visit Clarity Media on YouTube and find the same recording there as well. Now, these listening sessions are continuing through September 17th, and that's two days before the um, Board of Supervisors are going to um, be meeting with the ARAC Committee and the Human Rights Commission to hear the final reparations recommendations, okay? So the next listening session uh, after tonight's that occurred in the Western edition, the next one will be on September 5th. That's a Tuesday in Potrero Hill at 11.01 Connecticut. And it starts at 5.30. But the other dates are there. And if you've missed this information, please just reach out to me here on my Facebook page or, um, or on YouTube um, and or watch this back. Okay. All right, so let me take that off. And so this video that I will play now, I believe I will play it here. Let's see. It includes um, some highlights from last night's listening session in the Bayview Hunters Point. Okay, so let me pull that up. Yeah, it looks like I can do it. Uh, and okay, so there is the video. Let me uh, start it over. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just preface it. So these are some of the committee members um, that the uh, ladies are speaking with. The ladies of the public are speaking with committee members about their concerns here. So now, without further ado, let me share this with all of you. Thank you for watching Clarity Media.
And just because you give me money doesn't mean that I'm healthy and my well-being is okay, especially when you continue to extract from me or you continue to put me in communities where I have all I'm radioactive things and cancer is hitting my community. And what am I going to do with the money once I get $5 million if I'm dead? And I'm dead because we continue to harm our people. We continue to over-police our people. So all these recommendations, as you go through them and see them, look at those that when you go on September 19th or when you write the board members or the commissioners, what are they called, board members? Yeah, and commissioners. And commissioners, supervisors. 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 When you write your supervisors and reach out to them, that you are specific in what you're asking for. We don't want to go something that's not on all these lists because this came from us. 100% came from community. And if we go and we're saying we're just focused on the money, and they say, uh, psych, we're not going to do that, and we didn't bring up any of these things, we're not going to get that either. So I just want us to, like, money and have your list of ants. Yeah. And how would they use some of that money from their tax revenue to fund reparations and other creative ways? So there's that way of looking at tax. Now, if we get $5 million, will we be taxed? We can't dictate to the federal government what they can do, but we can ask locally. What's wrong, Judy Hart? Yeah. Yeah, because of the only space that has it is, is City College on, uh, on Everton. That's the only space that has it. And a lot of people. So our children should be once they leave us, they should be able to do absolutely anything within this city. Right. They should be prepared right. to go into any city government department and be trained to do so. We want to make sure we're developing incentives to the black educators and housing. Where they come. Uh, the reparations task force. And I'm happy to be here, and um, I wish I could have got here earlier, but pretty much we uh, have been working two years, as you probably already heard, and it's a lot of tremendous and good work went into this, and certainly uh, each and every one of pretty much it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into Clarity Media. Gonna stop sharing that. Those were some raw clips. The first time anybody has seen those clips, just I couldn't wait to edit it. Okay, I couldn't wait to edit it and share it with all of you just to let you know that the community is active. We are moving. We are making sure that we are present. Okay, you saw all of those seniors, senior women gathered to make sure that they are participating in any way they can. Some young folks there too. Those are raw clips of last night's listening session that occurred in the Baby Hunters Point along with the African-American Reparations Advisory Committee members, Gloria and uh, Letitia and, uh, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? Let me go to the website because I want to do them justice. It, I mean, they have worked, Daniel Landry, Daniel Landry, yeah. Daniel Landry, Letitia Irving. And Gloria, I should know Gloria's last name, but nevertheless, let me, I'm going to go to the website, okay? So I want to include the uh, website. 
with you so that you know how to find the report and any information that you um, may want regarding, um, let's see, SF reparations.org. Okay. Uh, so I can't be, let's see. Oh, okay. I know why I made a mistake in the address here. Just bear with me there. Okay. There we are. So I'm going to share this screen so that you can see the website for the San Francisco, San Francisco African American Reparations Advisory Committee, where you can get all the information that you might need. There's a, there's the website. Okay, so it looks like this. When you get there, and the and the web address is scrolling in the bottom of my screen there. Okay, when you get to the website, this is what you'll see. And here's some information about the committee members, who they are. And they include James Lance Taylor professor and an individual who works for a media outlet that principally serves the African-American community. He's a storyteller of African-American stories and a historian. Ms. Tanish Hollins is the vice chair. She is an individual who has been displaced from San Francisco due to gentrification. And Mr. Eric McDonald is the chair. He's an individual with expertise in private equity and venture capital and more information and more committee members like Reverend Dame, Reverend Dr. Amos Brown, excuse me, uh, Amariti Rico Hamilton, Nicole Cunningham, Gloria Berry, Daniel Landry, Tiffany Carter, Gwendolyn Brown, Anita Ekinem, Star Williams. Star is the youngest person on the committee. She's between the ages of 14 and 24. Yeah. And uh, here's Shaquille O'Kane and Letitia Irving. And there's still an open seat for an individual who has lived or is currently living in public housing. So that's a little bit about the committee members. There's uh, some information about meetings here, calendar, um, updates and all that resources. I'm tapping on as we go. Let's see. Historical reports on San Francisco's African American communities, buried problems in a buried process, the Hunters Point Naval Shipyard in a time of climate change. That report is there. Also, with the report of the San Francisco Mayor's Task Force on African American Out Migration. That was conducted in 2009. See, this work has been going on for a while. And then the most recent report uh, published by the African American Reparations Advisory Committee is here as well. And that was published July, the last report was published July 2023, just last month. And this is what it looks like. And it's over a, a total of over 300 pages, 398 pages to be exact, okay? Oh my goodness, a lot of work, a lot of work. Members there and table of contents and all of that, but imagine 300 pages of proof and, and documented historic harms and systemic harms through health care, education, economics, racial terror, a legacy of institutional harms to San Francisco's Black communities, Black migration, urban renewal and redevelopment, contemporary harms to San Francisco's Black communities, looking ahead, the methodology, creating the African American Reparations Advisory Committee and all of that and the conclusion and the recommendations. It can all be found there at www.sfreparations.org. And if you need someone to help you with that, you can also visit Clarity Media on YouTube. Let me go back here. 
and what you can find on Clarity Media are a number of uh, recordings that I made, okay? Where I'm reading the report, okay? Where I'm actually reading through the report. I stopped at, uh, let me see, let me go to my page here. I stopped at, um, I think page 200 something because I was just, I mean, I was exhausted. It's a lot of reading, believe me, it's a lot of reading, a lot of reading, but there's more information here, more to see us. Sorry about that on Clarity Media uh, for you. Okay, so please tune in there whenever you can. Let me close this, stop sharing this, and I want to share um, my Clarity Media page, okay? Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, the, the uh, great thing about social media is that you can you know, you can, you can find information there um, from past recordings, okay? So I have a lot of recordings here where I'm actually reading the report to all of you, you know, sharing the content uh, about the report, like in this, in this particular video, I'm reading and reading and reading and reading, okay? So um, I even broadcast the live um, Board of Supervisors budget and an analysis meeting, I think it was, where uh, Supervisor Shimon Walton was asking for $50 million to create the um, Department of Reparations or the city office of reparations so that we could continue immediately with this work to receive reparations. He was not successful in that fight or in, in that request or demand or however you want to say it. Um, unfortunately, he was only able to be approved for $2 million towards the office of Rep reparations. But the fight is not over. The fight is not over. We will continue. And we will fight for the full 50 million that he asked for. Maybe we'll get more because we will need um, to staff that department and to make sure that um, there are enough people doing the work of collecting the names of people who qualify for reparations and to make sure that the resources are there and available and that people receive what is owed okay so as you can see here all of these recordings are different recordings of me reading the report as you can see here <laughs> i'm sipping on my tea reading the report there's another time i'm in the small screen reading the report that might be a replay yeah me reading the report there again okay so i did my best to bring you the information so that you could be informed and aware of that report and what's inside of the report and what they're asking for. So thank you again to everyone tuning in. I'm Alicia Mayo, CEO and founder of Clarity Media. I'm here tonight to read, um, and, oh, not to read, but to share, <laughs> I did all my reading, to share the information about the listening sessions that have taken place in San Francisco for two nights now, two nights in a row, and they will continue across the city of San Francisco until September 17th. Okay, and you can see there the QR code that you can scan with your cell phone to register for the next or the up, up and coming uh, sessions. More community engagement listening sessions are coming and they are happening until September 17th. And that is just two days before the hearing with the San Francisco Board of Supervisors where the ARAC committee and the Human Rights Commission will present their final reparations recommendations. Please be there for the rally. It begins at 12 noon on the steps of City Hall at one Dr. Goodlett, Dr. Carlton B. Goodlett Place. 
at City Hall. Okay, right there on the front steps of City Hall. They'll have the rally beginning at 12 noon and then they'll move into room 250 for the Board of Supervisors hearing at 3 p.m. Now, if you'd like to support reparations, San Francisco reparations, Black San Francisco reparations, please sign the endorsement form. There is an endorsement form. It's like a petition and you can find it at bit.ly forward slash capital E N D O R S E. That's endorse dash capital S F dash capital R E P A R A T I O N S. And it is all case sensitive. So the way you see it on the screen is how you have to enter it in order to get to the endorsement page where you can sign the endorsement. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you should support reparations for Black San Francisco because when you support reparations for Black San Francisco, you support reparations for all other people of color who have not been repaired, or repaid or paid treat fairly or wait a minute am i am i am i i think i'm saying something incorrect here now i think black people might be the only ones left to receive reparations i think maybe just about every other group of people of color in this country have received reparations or am i wrong Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't hear anybody. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. I'm Alicia Mayo. Just want to say thank you. Keep up the fight. Keep supporting me. Keep supporting the San Francisco African American Reparations Advisory Committee. Keep supporting those politicians like Shimon Walton who are doing an outstanding job putting themselves on the front lines of the fight. Keep supporting those people like Mayor London Breed, who is making dreams happen, okay? And we hope that she will support uh, reparations and the Office of Reparations, okay? Keep fighting, keep pushing, keep hoping, keep dreaming. All right, keep planning and preparing for your children and your grandchildren and their futures because they're depending on us. They're all depending on us. And what else can we be doing at this time in our lives? You know, anybody over 30, 40. So let me just go to the comments here. It looks like, um, let's see. Hero Hunter, Black Garo says, and I'm going to add his comments now that I read through them. This is the most comprehensive financial package for reparations I've read so far. And I've been over SB 619, HB 541, A3080, A, B25, 0152, and S322. Hero Hunter, thank you so much for your comments. It sounds like you have been on top of this whole reparations movement nationally. And um, you have, like you said, been over st State Bill 692, House Bill 541, Assembly Bill 3080A, um, I'm not sure what the B stands for. Educate me on that, Mr. Hero Hunter, Black Garo. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for tuning in tonight to Clarity Media. So I've been doing these readings and these presentations now for a couple of weeks since uh, San Francisco, you know, started uh, wrapping up the reports. When the first report was released, I read through the entire report and that was just about 60 pages of the first report. This last report is over 390 pages. There are some 111 recommendations 
111 recommendations, okay, that will, that will be presented on September 19th by the San Francisco ARAC Committee. How outstanding is that? Okay, we had our first meeting at the Board of Supervisors um, some months back in March, and a lot of folks showed up. There were folks there, they showed up and they made sure that their voices were heard. As you can see them all lined up, including committee members. And, uh, and we had lots of allies there too. Can't see them all, but you can see that Caucasian brother there and a few Caucasian sisters uh, there as well. But we showed up. I was there sitting in the media booth and uh, that journalist there was looking over her shoulder at me, probably wondering where I came from, why I was there. <laughs> well, problem is I never had access until that day. And I, I felt very honored to be there in the media chambers in that great hall at San Francisco City Hall with the Board of Supervisors and the beautiful public uh, and allies and the African American Reparations Advisory Committee members, the Human Rights Commission members, director, executive director, and the uh, associate director or director. Yeah, we were all there in support of each other to present uh, the reports and the ask and all of the supervisors promised that they would support reparations for Black San Francisco. And that was very exciting to hear. Very exciting, very, very, very exciting to hear. So now they have to live up to it. Now they have to show and prove, okay? And we will make our final recommendations on September 19th. If you can be there at San Francisco City Hall at uh, 1 Dr. Carlton B. Goodlit Place, room 250. The hearing will begin in room 250 at 3 p.m. And the rally will be at 12 noon before the hearing. So, you know, show up when you can, wherever you can. And if you can't make the rally in person, join online in the virtual meeting by visiting www.sfgovtv.org. That's www.sfgov.org. You can also visit sfreparations.org. Scrolling on the bottom of the screen there to look through the reports yourself. You don't even have to download them. You can just read them right there online, okay? And if you missed anything in tonight's uh, broadcast, you can replay this and see what you miss by rewinding. Sign the endorsement. Sign the endorsement form by visiting bit.ly forward slash endorse dash SF dash reparations. I'll leave that on the screen there for a few moments, okay? Okay, so I am exhausted, as you can probably tell. I'm ready to rest up a little bit and um, get my mind right and wrapped around what we're doing so that I can continue to work on my own. Yeah, starting on page 12, Hero says, uh, let's see. Much love, much love, Hero, much love. He also says, shout out to DC, Oregon, Georgia, New York, and Jersey. Yeah, shout out to everyone tuning in. Share this with your friends and family. Share this broadcast, share this information. Share this good news with whoever you can because San Francisco is doing something extraordinary. We will continue to make international headlines, national headlines about this work. This is setting a precedence for the rest of the nation, for the rest of the world, for black people everywhere, for black children everywhere, okay? 
for black seniors, for black housing rights. Yeah, for equal pay and employment rights. This is setting a precedent. So when we set the bar really nice and high, everybody else can follow in, in our footsteps. Let me add this. So uh, Hero Hunter Black Garrell says, starting on page 12, I believe, and eligibility has had an update on page 32 as well, okay? So the eligibility updates are on page 12 and 32, he believes. I read through some of that last night. You guys can replay last night's recording to uh, see. Um, and if you don't hear it there, then you can always visit sfreparations.org yourself and pull up the information there yourself, okay? Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all of you who is tuning in. And, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for taking a part in everything that we're doing. And on behalf of my family, the McGee family who came from Mississippi, my grandfather came here as the youngest son of his mother and father. And he brought his dear wife, my grandmother with him and his firstborn child, my mom, who's standing at the top in the middle. It's mommy there, I'm to the right in the yellow blouse. My younger brother standing between my two grandparents up front at the bottom, he's no longer with us. Rest in paradise, my dear little brother, Kelly. All of this work is for you. All this work is for you. Um, unfortunately, he had to, the um, criminal justice system to deal with in and out of jail, trying to start his little businesses. He got off track a little bit, got off track and was never able to get right back on. No opportunities to get back on. Yeah. My family has been terribly affected in so many ways. I can't even begin. I can't even begin to tell you how. Yeah, I will tell my story, my full story, but my mom was kind enough to sit with me and record some of her own experiences. And I will share those moments with you coming up, okay? So like I shared the earlier um, the earlier video, um, I will also share the video of my mom telling her personal story. Okay, so then you can understand from our family's perspective what it was like to be black and in San Francisco, just trying to live, just trying to have your families just trying to get by, just trying to get by being black in San Francisco. All right, you guys, with that, I will say good night for now. Peace and love to all of you. Do your part. Whatever you do is good enough. Just keep, keep doing your part and tell your children about what's happening so that they can pick up where we're leaving off, okay? We are our ancestors' wildest dreams. And now I'm, I'm becoming an elder myself. <laughs> All right, so let this elder go now. I will see you guys next time. Peace and love. Tune in weekdays to the Bay Area Mental Health Hour on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook. You'll find us covering issues surrounding your everyday coping skills and your mental health and wellness. And remember, your mental health matters as much as your physical health. Today's live stream is being brought to you by Clarity Media. Support the San Francisco Dreamkeeper Initiative, recognizing and investing in the diverse Black and African American communities of San Francisco with a wide range of programs to support youth, families, seniors, and members of the Black LGBTQ plus communities. Dreamkeeper San Francisco is fostering hope for generations of Black people to feel free to dream boldly. Visit Dreamkeeper SF dot org today.
Smith and Wesson Bean is a media theme. Clarity inspiring. Requirements never tiring. Laundry list you never miss. No vision. Best media on display. Problem solved out the way. Magnitude, Godzilla. Selling more power than Jay Thriller. Getting backlash. Cash stash so we can grow. Clever on the air, you better go. Ancestors need us to be bold. Smart enough to live for another day. Get it right, solving problems quick without nine descenders up in a mix. Race soldiers getting help, turning backs and watching, let you shoot. Clarity, bright, speaking truth. No help, have to help ourself. Raise up if not for nothing else. T technical, scientific, qualified, always with it. Come through, rock with a few. Drip lit, like a spot, just winning. Media life spinning. Enemies within, we gotta stop it. No one's a prophet. Burden heavy, broken levy. Meant to you now and forever. Politics is what she's speaking. Good mental health needed. Lift each other, don't trip. If your brother slip, extend grip. Make cash flip, pay each other. That's a good look. Need each other. Deep inside, it's survival. Jump in together, no rifle. All the content's original. If you hear it, listen and share it all. Then you should have played with all your heart. Clara sticks it to him like a dart. And have the aim of archery to mark. Melanin made them all empty. Experimenting, cause they saw me. Blow by a NASCAR race. Nah, I better space boost pace. Yeah. Nah, I better space boost pace, boy. Just winning. Media life spinning. Media life spinning. Media life spinning. Just winning. Media life spinning.